Yoga Love. I am coming to you from Disney World Fort Wilderness. Um, we obviously have an RV spot. I think this is the quietest it will be for the whole day. So I hope you can hear me because I'm also trying to honor quiet hours. Let's get started on our back in Soup de Bottom. Soles of the feet come together, knees go wide. Let the hands rest wherever you like. Take a big full inhale. And then exhale out your mouth for as long as you can. Then inhale. Exhale, try to make it longer than your inhale. Bringing the soles of the feet to the ground, knees are bent. Just rock back and forth, rocking through the low back. So I'm on pretty uneven territory, so you probably can't see my spine lifting and flattening. Uh, but that's the goal here, just coming into the pelvis. position feels good, windshield wiper the knees, just gently side to side. Inhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Take the right piece fingers, that's the first two fingers, wrap them around the right big toe. See if you can straighten the leg, maybe not. Maybe just grabbing the toe is your work, or if that's even not going to happen, you just grab the back of the thigh and straighten from there, okay? Keep plugging both tailbone, both sit bones down. And then work your right shoulder down as well. And then I want you to tick tock your leg like two inches out, two inches in. Out and in. Very, very minor movement. Oh, I hear the buses. It must be close to park time. Bend the left knee in. Take your piece fingers, wrap them around the big toe. Extend as much as you can. And then take those same kind of tick-tock movements. Like the pendulum and the clock. We drove five hours. Well, I didn't drive. Jason drove. It's been pouring down rain yesterday. So by the time we got to Disney, we had to cancel our dinner reservation. We ordered pizza, and I think now Jason has food poisoning. So um, happy Disney! Come back to center. And just settle here for one moment, letting the hips and back feel already a little more open. The hamstrings are starting to open. Knees come into chest. Three spinal rocks. All fours. Take the time to set up here. We're going to take a different variation than normal. Inhale, right leg up. Turn the toes to the right wall. And then bring your right leg to parallel with the hip. And back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Bring it on down. We're going to take that left side. Starting with a flexed foot, left leg is flying. We turn the toes to the left, rotating through the hip. And up and back. Up and back. Up and back. 
that and bring it down. So always welcome to just rock the toes on the ground around you, right? If picking up is not ideal for you. Back to your tabletop. Right leg up. Knee to nose. with our forward fold variation for a moment just to really get into the metrics of the spine and maybe where your work is. So starting with the feet underneath the hips, most of us tend to stand too wide. So really looking at where the hip bone is and falling below there. Once you bring the hands to the hips, I want you to act like your bowl is a pelvis and the water is falling out of the bowl onto the thighs. And then just start to lower the chest. Maybe this is it. Maybe you feel a lot of tension in the hamstrings right here. This is a wonderful forward fold. Maybe you keep going oh, until you feel some tension and then make sure that your chin is tucked so the back of the head is long. The weight is on the balls of the feet. right ear to your right shoulder. Make sure that the left shoulder has space. And just let the spine fold to the right side. And back up. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And let the spine fold to the left. So right, we've gone forward and backward and side to side with the spine, and now let's rotate, let's twist it. Coming into a nice standing position, arms come to the teeth, 
left arm forward, right arm back, take your chin, twist it over the right back shoulder. Working the fifth, staying forward. Back to the other side. And you can see, right, when I keep my hips forward, this left arm comes up. I'm just really tight through my chest and shoulders. So this is my rotation to stay in integrity. Back to a T. Clasp your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders down and together. Knit the rib cage in. Roll forward. If you can easily pull your arms overhead, do that. If you're having trouble to clasp your hands, don't. Your work is folding with the arms behind you. One more breath. Release the arms, halfway left. High push up. Untuck the toes, lift the chest, upward facing or cobra. Downward facing. Chair pose. Hands to heart center. Right elbow goes between the two knees. Stack the shoulders. Then open up. Back to center. Make sure the hips are still set. Other side. Back to center. Stay low. Drive up. Asana. We're going to take that single leg raise that we did on our back, but standing. Inhale, right leg up. These okay, fingers come around your big toe. Whoa. Open out to the front. Open out to the side. We can do this on our hands and knees. Already done the metrics of this, we just did it on a different plane. Inhale, lift it up. Grab the big toe and extend. Open out to the side. shake it out. Good work. That's a tough one, huh? Wide-legged yogi squat. I think this practice is Sunday. So try to be nice and gentle, right? Or maybe it's Monday. Either way, be nice to yourself. Right hand down, left arm up, twist. you feel? Back to center, other side. Left arm down, right arm up. Back to center. Alright, go with me here. I just 
want you to sit down. Figure it out. Ooh, right, as little movement as possible. Okay, we'll just scramble off my toesies. Feet is forward fold. We're gonna start with our feet extended, back straight up and down. Bend the knees, 20%. Drop the chest to the thighs, grab the toes if you can. Spine is really straight. We're going to take the opposite. Legs are straight. Tuck the chin. Roll the head. Roll back up. Now we're going to bring those two together. The idea of flexing at the uh, hips, but also mobility and openness in the upper back, yes? Knees bent, maybe 5%, reaching over and down. Rise back up, reverse tabletop. Hands come past the hips, legs are bent or straight. Press through the heels, lift the hips. Coming onto your back, straight into Savasana. As always, I will wake you when it's time. shake any way that feels right. And then come to a fetal position on either side. One more breath. Come up to a simple seat. Pausing here with an attitude of gratitude for the flexibility of the spine. Inhale your hands to heart center. The place in me that is love <laughs> acknowledges the place in you that is love. <laughs> and together we say, Namaste. We are so close, guys. I guess I should have started at 6.30. Have a beautiful day.